I just got a massive shipment of car parts that's going to transform my 2009 arthritis grandpa show car Mr. Print out a brochure and go to Cars and Coffee. Mr. One of 200 made on a Tuesday with a guy who freshly shaved his pe we're going to be transforming this car in this video from that into the supercar killer that GM designed it to be using what's in these boxes. We have stuff to add power. We have stuff to make it look better. So not only when we're gapping Lamborghinis, we're going to be looking better doing it. In order to do that, we need to pull it in the garage and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and install is the new k and carbon fiber intake. So this is what the factory air box looks like. It's cool, it's got a little skull on it and stuff, you know, just extra horsepower right there. But uh, yeah, I, I, I really wanna hear it whine a little bit more, so I think this is gonna help. And then also this is just gonna flow a little bit better and it's got a reusable filter. So it's just the best of both worlds. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing all this fun stuff and try not to break anything. And uh, I guess once I get it out, we'll compare the two side by side, but I have a feeling with the new one, we're gonna hear a lot more intake noises, which is, gotta be great all right here's the two side by side oem obviously k and n i didn't know the whole thing is fiberglass this thing literally weighs nothing like it's insane how light this is this is like three or four times the weight um but there's the filter which is pretty uh pretty whack all things considered this is not whack this is cool so we're gonna put the cool one on the car i have to get off that coupler still but Comes with everything you need, couplers, um, instructions. So yeah, this will be very helpful. All right, I got everything transferred over. It looks beautiful. Got my clamps nice and straight, got the bracket on. We're just about ready to put it in. I wiped everything down. Um, we just gotta put the coupler on and then we're good to go. So should sound pretty different. I'm just, just looking at how restrictive this is and it has like a dead chamber here. This should help a lot. Dude, that's a thick filter. Oh my God, you guys can see it right there. That filter is like from there to there. Oh my God, what are they thinking? Robbing me of all that horsepower. How dare they? God, it's so sexy. If I could fill this with my wood. There we go. That has to be one of, if not the sexiest intakes I've ever seen. We got the carbon on the hood. We have the carbon intake. Dude, that looks insane. And like, it looks low key too. Oh, I kind of wish I put the, well, I guess the K&N badges are facing the same way, but I kind of wish I put the intake the other way so you could read the K&N. But regardless, it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Not sure if it's carb legal, but I don't really care because uh, who are they to tell me how much horsepower my bald eagle spitting Corvette can and cannot have these goddamn politicians ruining the country. Anyways, um, let's continue installing everything else. This intake also claims a gain of 27 horsepower at 5,900 RPM and 20 foot-pounds of torque at 4,200 RPM. So I wonder if we'll be able to feel that. No idea. The next thing we're going to install are the uh, C6 laser side markers. So this is going to just help bring the Corvette into the modern era. I mean, this is a 2009. This is an old vehicle. And although the car I think is beautiful, we can update some of the halogens with LEDs and just make the car look a lot newer than it actually is. This is, I mean, this is just a simple thing to just help your car look a little bit better, in my opinion. So I'm gonna start with the rear because I think the rears are way easier, but let me open these up. These are the smoked versions, so these are pretty dark. Um, it's gonna just eliminate the bright orange marker and it's gonna help just kind of blend with all of the carbon bits around the vehicle. And then when they're turned on, you'll see the nice crisp LED strip. Let me go ahead and show you what the uh, OEM ones look like. So here's what they look like, pretty ugly. I mean, it's period correct, but it just doesn't look all that nice. Then you have the rears right here, same thing, just one bulb supposed to illuminate the whole thing. Doesn't look all that nice. To install the rears, what we have to do is sneak through the taillight. There's one T15 bolt right there and we can clip this one, unclip it, I should say. It's crazy to think that these <laughs> taillights are held in with one screw that's accessible from the rear. So if you ever wanna steal a C6 taillight, don't do it, but uh, anyways, there's the clip in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's two clips and then you can put, pull it out and uh, unplug it. So once you unclip the two clips, it comes right out, just don't pull it. Then what you do is pull out the bulb and plug in the connector. Um, it is polar, bipolar, I forgot what the word is. So if it doesn't turn on, just flip the connector and then it'll turn on. And then if you did everything correctly, that's how it should look. 
and you should be able to click it in just like that. Now we have a much more modern look to the rear end of this Corvette. And after you reinstall your taillight, you're done. It's that easy. Took about two minutes and uh, the car looks much, much better. Now the fronts aren't too bad, but you are gonna have to turn your wheel because you have to get behind the wheel liner. But after that, it's the same process as the rear. So all things considered, not too bad of an install. So yeah, to do the fronts, five T15 bolts, and then you just reach in and you can wiggle it out after you remove the clips. See if I can do this on camera without breaking it. There we go. See, don't force anything. Just finesse it a little bit, that's all. Then we take our new one, peel off the plastic, make sure your switch is on, plug it in, and then we can test to make sure it's plugged in correctly. There we go. And there we go. So that's how it looks when it's off. Matches all of the other black housings. And then when you turn it on, you got that nice amber LED strip and it just, oh, it looks so much nicer. God, I'm so happy I got these. One thing to keep in mind is since they are LED, they are a little thicker. So they do stick out just literally like two millimeters. It's not much, it's not noticeable. Nobody but us is going to notice them. So let me do the other side and then that install will be done. All right, so these are what we're gonna install next. We have map lights, we have reverse lights, footwell lights, cargo lights, and license plate lights. So uh, I'll start with the rear thing. So we'll do reverse and license plate. Now I didn't look up a video on how to install these, but GM seems pretty smart. So I'm sure it's gonna be pretty simple. I bet you there's, yep, there we go. We got some screws under here we gotta undo. And then, uh, yeah, shouldn't be too bad. So these are gonna be similar to the side markers in a way that it's replacing the whole housing. So you're gonna do the same thing, unplug the bulb, plug in the uh, switch and make sure that it's plugged in the correct way. And these should turn right on. Dude, the difference, <laughs> that's insane. All right, those are both in place now. We'll have to see how those look at night. Now I'm gonna eye up how to do the reverse lights because these are just notoriously dim. I don't even know if they're ever even turn on. Like it is, it baffles me, honestly. So these, these should be a big game changer. Look at that before and look at that after. Yeah, that's a, a hell of a lot brighter than that. So again, we'll see how this all looks at night, but uh, it already, already looks way better. Jesus, man, the small things that add up, that looks great. And there we go, just like that, they are both. And you don't need to take any bolts off actually. You can stick your arm as long as your exhaust is cold to the left of it and just literally take out the connection by hand. Super easy, takes five seconds. Now let's take care of these ugly ass cargo lights. We have one on each side. I'm assuming we pop off this cover and uh, it'll be very easy. So you actually unhook them and then you get this, take off the cover and there's your light right there. So all we gotta do is unhook it from this side and drop it out and then put in the new LED. Five seconds later, we go from that to that, much brighter, much nicer looking. Cargo lights are done. Now let's move into the cabin. Next up, we got the map lights. These, I've always hated, makes the car just feel like early 2000s GM and uh, it just looks really bad. To do these, gently pry off the lens. I did it from the button area and then we can remove the bulb. Um, let it cool down though, because it's going to be really hot. Here's a nice little before and after of the map light. Pretty uh, mid. Boom, super bright, looks super nice. Both map lights done, and uh, no, that's not daylight. That is just the map lights. It looks much nicer. Lastly, for the interior, I'm gonna do the footwell lighting. I didn't even know this thing had footwell lighting. That goes to show just how dim the lights are, but apparently, I guess I barely see it down there. I guess there is footwell lighting, but I'm gonna climb under down there and uh, try to see what it looks like. Ignore the beeping, but there's the footwell light right there. Like I said, I didn't even know it was there. So this is gonna make a nice change. Let me go ahead and swap it out. All right, guys, it is now nighttime. So we can go ahead and take a look at what we've done so far and then get the before on the headlights and the fog lights and see how they compare to the after once we go ahead and install those uh, new bulbs. So with everything off, this is how it looks. We have the black uh, or smoked side markers. Looks really good. I, I do wanna say these interior lights are 
stupid bright like it is it is so bright in here um you're never gonna lose anything it is great it, it is a massive transformation on the interior for sure with the accessories on there we go so side markers check bright license plate lights check and when they say bright they mean bright i mean it is casting a light on the floor behind the vehicle i love the side markers so far the side markers are my favorite and this is how the headlights look as of right now they look good they look fine i don't know if these are the oem bulbs for all i know these are upgraded already but they cast a pretty good light beam and it looks it looks fairly good this is what reverse looks like we have some awesome reverse lights now you can actually see where you're going so once i get a uh, backup cam installed those are going to be even more helpful and this right here that's the high beams so high beams off high beams on and then this is the fog lights those got to be stock those fog lights got to be stock it's hard to tell on camera but they are very yellow compared to the white headlights so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it in and then we can start swapping out the bulbs. So funny enough, to do the fog lights, you gotta do the same thing as if you're doing the side markers. So do them at the same time. Don't make the same mistake as me. So I'm gonna quickly undo all that and just swap out the bulbs really quick. These are the fog lights that we're gonna be installing. Just some straight up LEDs. Obviously a whole of a lot brighter than the halogens that are in there. So this is a major upgrade. Yeah, I think it's safe to say which one is brighter. The fact that that is completely being washed out shows on camera which one's brighter and uh as for the front well one definitely looks better and it's uh the nice crisp white one instead of the ugly old yellow one you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about he's just a friend heard that one before one thing i'll quickly mention too is i know a lot of people might say oh well with leds you usually don't get a good spray or a good pattern these have uh, a panel on all four sides so in essence, it's pretty much got the same pattern as the halogen, just a lot brighter. And you're not gonna blind anyone with these either. In order to do the headlights, you do gotta pop off the wheel. And then there is an access panel in here. Where is it? There it is. And uh, once you take off this rubber access panel, you can access the high beams, low beams, and the blinker. So I'm gonna quickly swap those out and then we can do a comparison. All right, so here's the before and after. This is before, this is after. This is with high beams on. If I bring it in really close, you can see obviously a gold high beam, and this is a HID uh, low beam, which is, it's bright, it's bright. Now this is LED low beam and LED high beam, and uh, it is definitely much brighter. Um, it's hard to tell on camera because the camera auto balances, but maybe if I stand back enough, you can see this is really washed out. Like we can't really see anything down here. We can see a little bit in that in that nook. But uh, in person, yeah. I mean, the right side is is way brighter in person. It's, again, hard to tell on camera, but uh, <laughs> this is this is real nice. So here's the stock HID compared to the LED replacement that we are inserting. Uh, as you can see, there's a bit of a size difference. This has a much bigger cooling pack on the rear as well. And then here is the uh, LED high beam compared to the halogen high beam. That one, I mean, that's self-explanatory while we're doing that. And before installing the first LED low beam, I was honestly skeptical because, I mean, HIDs are bright. But uh, the amount of light that this little sucker just puts out is insane. So, and, uh, you know, having an external fan and everything, like, it's, it's a well-built piece of equipment. So, I'm going to finish this side and then... All of the lights will have been changed except for the turn signals and the tail lights. And that's because, well, I want to get rid of those tail lights. Now that we've got all the lights installed, there's only one last thing we have to do, and that's get rid of these stock wheels with this dog water fitment. Look at that. What was the, Oh my God, oh, I can't even talk. Anyways, let's head to my boy's shop and let's go ahead and toss on the new wheels.
Well guys, I was able to get the wheels mounted today. We got Apex SM10s on the ZR1 and this fitment is so much better than the OEM wheels. I mean, we are right there at the, uh, the fender. It is just, it is perfectly flush. Uh, these are just temporary tires. I'm sure some people are saying, Drew, you already went and put Hoosiers on it. No, these are temporary tires. Uh, my boy sold me these wheels. He um, bought them and barely used them and actually went with CCWs instead. So he hooked me up with these. I was already looking at Apex wheels and it just so happened that he had a nice pair laying around. So love them. They just, they, they fit so good. They fit so good like they are perfect and so right now we're running a 345 and a 285 um, we are going to keep that stance i think so 345 either a 280 or a 295 up front so we'll have to see when i get the actual tires i'm still doing research and seeing what i want there's a few different options out there but not many tires come in 345 uh, so i'm limited on that and i kind of want it to be matched so when we do go to the track I'm not running into any issues with uh, my front tires giving out and my rear tires uh, still hooking and stuff like that. There's also security right there, so we're about to get kicked out. But yes, the Apex SM10s look great. We got them in uh, this gunmetal, which I think is probably the best option for this car. It looks so aggressive. I do like the brushed or silver look, but this just looks a little bit more aggressive for my taste. The brushed or silver look is way more like car show, cars and coffee stance. This is a... Uh, this is aggressive and ready for the track. If it's echoey in here, I am sorry. There's also trash everywhere. Someone needs to clean this up. But yeah, hopefully you guys like the wheel choice. I do, I love it. I don't think I would go any other way unless somebody literally handed me a set of CCWs, which I already have on the Supra. So there's no real point to have two cars with the same wheels. Unless someone handed me those, I just, I don't think there's anything else out there that really like does the Corvette justice like this. Like it's not too flashy and it looks aggressive. It's got some nice concavity. It's a monoblock forged wheel. You just can't really beat it. And obviously this isn't sponsored because I bought them secondhand. I've just always liked these wheels. So guys, there you go. In one day we took the Corvettes from some arthritis having ass grandpa car into a proper race car for the most part. I mean, we added some performance. We added a lot of performance actually, these wheels alone and uh, the capabilities of the tire setup are going to enhance the handling of this vehicle so much. I can't wait for that. But we threw the K&N carbon fiber intake on. We got all of the lighting done from vet lights. I mean, cars come a long way in such a short amount of time and there's still so much more we need to do. The next thing I really wanna to do just to this vehicle is steel braided brake lines and I wanna flush out all of the fluids. God knows how old the coolant and the brake fluid is. So I might do that off camera, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys wanna see that, maybe you don't. Let me know your thoughts down below. But that is next on the agenda for uh, the ZR1 here. So anyways, I'm gonna head home. We'll wrap up this video there, but I'm super happy with uh, how the car's turned out. Someone's getting on it. Let's try to guess the car. Sounds slow. Anyways, yeah, let's go. I am just so happy with how this car is coming along. We already got the wheels. We got all the lighting updated. We already added a little bit of power. We're gonna do some more stuff power-wise. Don't worry, I got some secrets coming. But I'm just so happy with the help I've gotten from Vet Lights sending out their light systems. And then my boy Chris uh, helping me out hook up these wheels real quick. Um, honestly, like this is, like my dream Corvette and I've been saying that since I got it and I've been able to modify it how I have always wanted to modify a Corvette. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm like in the process of redoing my garage. So ignore the yellow floors, but yeah, hopefully you guys like the look a lot better. We also got no more ghetto lights up there. So anywho, car looks great. And I couldn't have done it without the people that helped me in this video. Big shout out to Vet Lights. I'm going to link their website down below super quality lights literally every light they sent me was a major upgrade from oem high beam low beam fog light side markers everything i have zero complaints with so far i am super happy to have them all in my car i just need to figure out what kind of tail lights i want because uh that's the one thing that really needs to change i do like the oem housings i know a lot of people don't like them i do personally so uh i'm gonna leave them but yeah, big shout out to uh, Vet Lights. Thank you guys so much for sending your lighting systems. I love them so much. And then a uh, big shout out to Chris. He doesn't watch my videos, but big shout out to you. You know who you are. Anyways, hopefully you guys like what I've done to the vet. Let me know if you guys could have chose any wheel to put on. What would you guys have put on? Also, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like the video. Share it with somebody that needs to buy a Corvette. Anyways, 
Until next video, peace. By the way, I'm in the process of editing the video. I looked sweaty as hell. I was literally running around chasing the car with the gimbal. There were multiple clips where I was doing that, so you guys only saw like one, but there were multiple clips. I was chasing the car throughout the whole garage. I looked like a fucking lunatic. Anyways, until next video, peace.